right wing bottom skin is in place, have the slots cleaned up, rounded out the bottoms, filed off the edges so they're nice and clean and straight, so everything lays nice and flush. It's time to start putting the rivets in or drilling the holes to put the uh, Clecos in for the rivet spots. So with this, I start on the number three rib or number four rib um, with a bottom pilot hole. So to do that, because the bell crank is right here and interferes, I will draw a pilot hole on the number three rib where the D-spar center mark is that I drilled already. Same thing on the number four. I'll drop a line between the two, do my number four, and then what I'll do is I'll work my way up and out to stretch the skin as it goes out. So that's the next step of the process. So we'll go ahead and get some footage of that and get started. Right wing bottom skins in place. I'm gonna start drilling from the inside for my pilot holes to start marking the other side. So the center line is, is dropped, number five ribs here. So what we'll do is center punch it. Right wing bottom skins in place. The number three, number four, and number five ribs and D spar holes have been drilled. So now I start working my way along the bottom to get that tight fit. And then once I've got that bottom row of uh, holes drilled and Clecos in place, then I'll start working my way up and out. So to do that, the measurements uh, starting on rib number two, working your way to the outboard side are inch and a half from the holes. They don't line up exactly perfectly. Um, and then the other thing that I'll do is I'll offset them on the, the rivets. So I'll take a ruler that I've drawn already with the inch and a half uh, marks and I will drop those in place uh, from the number three to the number four and the number four to the number five. I'll drill those and then I'll start, I'll work my way back out to do the pilot holes on rib number two, rib number six, and then the ribs on from rib number one to rib number two has specific measurements. So I will stop and measure those out from rib number one to rib number two once I have the pilot hole to use as my base. On the left wing, I was pulling the skin off and doing this on a layout. And I found that it was just as quick to make a ruler that was fairly flexible that I could just tape up. So that's what I do. Now we'll go through and center punch these and then I'll come through and drill.
again. Starting to work my way out with the drill. Start from rib number four, and I'll do one hole on each side, put a Cleco in, and then work my way out to rib number three, or down to rib number three and back to, out to rib number five. And that will tighten that up nice and flat, and then I'll work my way forward from there. Pull that Cleco out now that I've got this many in so that if that sh skin shifts a little bit, it'll be just a fraction and I can clean that up if, it w if the Cleco won't fit. And now the tape can come off because the Clecos are in place. And we can see a nice good offset on these here. I'll grab a picture. Grab a picture of that. And uh Right wing bottom skin is on and in place, nice and tight and firm. Turned out really nice. So the next step is to pull the Clecos out, move my way back um, so that I can uh, drill, match drill the uh, drop tank hard points and then also the tie down. So I'll uh, remove those out and then I'll show you how that's done.
through the magic of video editing here we'll be there in a second and just like that we're back to do the drop tank hard points uh, I use the uh, reverse I talked about a little earlier but I use a reverse um, center punch method so basically took a 5 16 bolt 5 16 inch bolt uh, cut it off and then use a grinder put it on the sanding uh, wheel and just ground it to a point what I'll do is I'll screw that in the the first one or actually the, the furthest one back first um, tap that and then put it in the second one and tap that one that gives me a, a center punch on where to drill I'll drill from the back side a, a pilot hole and then I'll use a step drill um, a step step drill bit uh, to make that wide enough to, to fit that I have a couple of bolts that I'll use uh, just to test to make sure it works So have 5 16 bolts just to check to make sure the alignment is where it needs to be. I to repeat the process for the other drop tank and then to move back inside to the tie down. <laughs> 